you've been speaking probably a lot with people about, you know, the democratization of Gen AI and LLMs. Uh, so with everything that is going on uh, with Gen AI nowadays, I'm wondering, um, you know, how are you holding the C-suite conversation with, um, you know, the vast spectrum of customers that you uh, that you work with? So from startups to enterprise, what, what do you think that, uh, you know, this business and technical decision maker uh, have as their priorities? What makes them tick? Yeah, that, that's a really, that's a good question. So yes, first and foremost, it is a business discussion. And, um, and, you know, I'm an engineer, so it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm as much as big of a geek and, and, you know, bit head that, that you would find. And, but it is a business discussion um, and technology makes no sense whatsoever. AI included if it doesn't solve real life business problems and if it doesn't improve um, you know, the productivity of your organization or if it doesn't improve the customer experience, whatever that means, you know, from education to, to healthcare, to retail, to you know, whatever it is you're trying to, uh, to solve. Um, and I think that's the, this has really been the, the starting point of all those discussions um, in the last 18 months. You know, what can I really do with AI? Uh, yes, there is certainly a lot of noise out there. And some organizations are extremely noisy about their AI efforts. And, um, and you know, the, there is such a thing as uh, marketing BS and, you uh, mm. You know, claiming that you can do this and you can do that, and this model can do all of this, blah 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 blah. So, I mean, obviously, many organizations and many uh, stakeholders know better than that. But still, uh, I mean, if you're running a company or you know, if you're running large teams, again, you cannot spend a ton of time testing out everything that's available out there, or or validating or invalidating all those claims. Right, um, and I think that's again that's where I try to step in, um, and I try to be as um, neutral and um, and you know data driven as possible. And you know when I was at AWS and I stepped into a meeting, if I thought whatever the you know full disclosure whatever the AWS account team was trying to pitch was wrong for the customer I would say I would call it out loud like in the first five minutes like I you know I would try to convince the account team before the meeting that they shouldn't pitch this but if they didn't do it then I would call them out in front of the customer which mm -hmm. created all kinds of interesting discussions and follow-ups as you can imagine and uh, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm doing the same here like if I think uh, you can solve a problem with a closed model in five minutes, then go solve the problem with with with, uh, with a closed model in five minutes, um, and, and don't don't try and do open source. And uh, you know, it, it's it's a little too complicated. So the right solution, the right tool for the job, is is always my approach. Um, and um, and I think that's that's how I look at those things. But first and foremost, it is a business discussion. So not all problems out there are AI problems, right? So right. don't try to use AI when it doesn't make sense. Don't use an LLM, a large language model, if it doesn't make sense. A lot of ML problems, um, which I, I prefer to call them ML than AI. I st I'm still not sure what AI yeah. is after all those years. <laughs> so if a machine learning problem can be solved with a simpler transformer model, then go do that. If it can be solved with traditional machine learning, you know, other goes from 10 or 20 years ago, please do that, okay? Um, because if you don't do that, then you get too excited, you know, about tech and you lose focus on, you know, cost and, and and performance, and, and and at the end of the day, you won't get any ROI. And, I and you'll come to the conclusion that ML is just again BS, and AI is BS, and everybody's just selling stuff that doesn't work. But maybe you just got too excited and didn't have a critical eye for okay, use the yeah. right tool for the job. So I, I I try to get them. You know, a lot of them understand that, and they just need clarity on okay, I'm trying to do this. What's the what's the best option? But some of them are still, you know, flying high, and I, I they need to land, and and hopefully I, I give them a soft landing, and then we can have the right discussion about the tooling. Yeah.